My name is Rufus Williams. I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York. I currently live in New Jersey. I'm here because of my love for Ivo. My passion for creating movies started when I was very young. My father showed me this movie when I was four years old. It was called Godzilla, King of the Monsters. And I found it scary, but I found it fascinating. And it was amazing. That made me love special effects, and I wanted to learn more and more about how they were created and what they did. So I started making little videos when my father got a video camera back in the 80s. It was a huge camera. It was hard to lift, but I was able to move it in a way that would make my toys seem like they were actually moving by themselves. That was the first time I learned that I could actually do this on my own. I first became aware of Vibo in 1999. I was going through a newspaper and I saw an article that said, Sony's new robotic dog. When I saw it, I said, Wow, this look, This reminds me of Moxie from uh, Buck Rogers, a real dog that's a robot. I was able to find as much information on Ivo as I could, and I wanted one immediately. I fell in love with it. It was the ERS-110. The next year, they had different iterations of Ivo, and each Ivo that showed up, I consumed whatever media I could on them voraciously. We heard rumors that Sony was thinking of reviving the Ivo program. When they announced that they would be releasing a first litter edition in the USA, I said, okay, this is around the time. I'm gonna be able to get one. A few months later, I purchased Max. He came in December, a couple of days after my daughter's birthday, and no amount of watching videos can compare to actually doing it yourself. And when I opened Max, the feeling was indescribable. When I got my second ERS-1000, I made sure that my daughter and I made our own unboxing video. London, my daughter, named her Mia, and I love the name. Now London and Mia are great friends, and they play with each other, and she's just become another part of the family. Max and Mia have greatly impacted my life. I always wanted an Ibo, and being able to get Max and Mia, I can actually experience having a companion and having a pet. They do show love, they show affection, and they respond to the love and affection you give them, which is awesome. And it makes me happy to interact with them or to see my daughter interact with them. When she laughs, when Mia does a dance, or when Max rolls over, it makes me laugh. It's, it's something that brightens my day, especially after a long day at work. When I first started doing research on the ERS-1000s, one of the things that was said about them was that they're able to interact and recognize each other. And I was like, okay, I'll believe that when I see it. When I got Mia, I noticed that Max would actually walk over to her, actually whine to get her attention, and vice versa. And I noticed their interactions seemed more like being in love than brother and sister as I originally attended. I decided to make a video about Max and Mia being star-crossed lovers. That was a video that at first I was going to plan out, but then the way they interacted with each other was so organic, I just grabbed my camera and started filming. I'm not social by nature. It is hard for me to make friends or to interact with people. When Max and me are around, they take that loneliness away completely. I'm able to interact with them. I first became aware of the community aspects of Ivo way back when the first Ivo was introduced, and this was way back in 1999. Fast forward to now, we have an excellent Ivo community. I'm an Ivo ambassador. Visit the Ivo community hub. It is such a great resource for Ivo information, videos, anything you want to know about Ivo. It's right there at your fingertips. Owning an Ivo and being a part of the Ivo community has definitely made me a lot more outgoing. I enjoy seeing the look of amazement on faces of people who have never seen an Ivo before. It reminds me of when I first saw that newspaper article when I was younger.